Welcome back everybody to the next video. This video we are going to go to the far side of the moon with an updated rocket and an updated lander. And also this time I get a new approach on editing and cutting and everything and doing the voiceover. I do it Matt Lown style. So I basically cut everything already and now I'm doing the voiceover, let's say, live. So let's dive right in. Here we can see the new updated lander. Thank you so much for the really, really awesome help uh, on Reddit, especially from uh, Queen's D, Queen's D. Thank you so much. As you can see, the new lander only has 590 kilograms of weight compared to the 1.2 tons on the old lander. We only have one solar panel and we have new engines unlocked. And those are actually the same engines that the surveyor probes used and they are named the TD339 engines. So what is the benefit of these? A big benefit of these is, of course, the thrust is nice, but they can uh, be throttled down to 29% compared to all the other engines that we have. Those are either on or off. This one can be throttled, big plus. Also, it has unlimited ignitions and it is not subject to alledge. So the perfect, uh, not the perfect, but the best engine that we have unlocked so far for a moon landing. Let's have a quick look at the rocket. I got also the feedback on uh, YouTube that I should paint my rockets more realistically. So I had a look at the Atlas rocket that launched the surveyor probes and basically it almost matched everything except for the upper stage that is in that iconic orange-like color. So I went with that one and yeah, it looks, looks quite cool. So without further ado, let's launch this thing. Three, two, one, ignition. is just awesome. It's so beautiful. Boosters ejected. And here we go for the first... No, it's not the first hot staging. Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's the first plasma building up. And hot staging. And we still see some plasma, but it's fading away quite quickly. Anyway, beautiful effects from the Firefly mod. Next hot staging. Actually, it was the same one, but from a different perspective. This one is the next one staging. And again from another perspective. Uh, 
And now that we completed the burn and are in orbit, we can finally get rid of that last stage and have only our lunar transfer stage left. Okay, so let's see. We need uh, to go to Luna, to the moon. So we basically create a maneuver node at the ascending node to the moon so that we match the plane. Then we go approximately 3100 meters per second delta V. And yeah. Waiting for some orbits, we should get a nice encounter there. Yeah, there it is, incoming. We're still short, some delta V, but that can be easily fixed. There we go. Now, let's fine tune it to bring our apoapsis, let's say below a thousand kilometers. Uh, periapsis, sorry. And we made it to 357 kilometer, which is awesome. Let's do this. So this is the transfer lunar injection burn. Leaving Earth. After 20 minutes, I guess, we do a slight correction burn. And then it is bye-bye, uh, Earth. And welcome, Moon. So we enter a nice circular orbit around the moon. Now, next up on the task list is find a nice place to land. If you remember, our task is to land on the far side of the moon, which makes it necessary, of course, that we have a relay satellite to make a connection to the space center because we need to transmit science from the surface. And as you can see, that line there, that's almost horizontally now, it's our relay satellite. So we land on the far side of the moon in reach of our relay satellite so that it can still see Earth and we can see it. Separating our lander and now it's all up to the lander. It's also nice to see how the tank, the transfer stage, leaves us here. And now we have our final deorbit burn. Yeah, coming down slowly below 300 meters a second already. Heading towards the surface and... While we come down, we do some last second brake burns, but yep. We will finally manage to safely land on the moon surface. Here we go. Touchdown. Disabling RCS. And there we are. We made it. Everything is intact. All good. And with that, we achieved our contract. We transmitted some science when the relay satellite 
came above us next time. Awesome. We also, with that mission, completed the whole contract for uncrewed lunar surface exploration in time. And what is going to be our next one? We are going to Mars next. That's gonna be interesting. Ah, needs a new rocket, a new satellite. Let's see what we get. So, if you like that, please let me know in the comments. Do you like the format? How, like, did you enjoy it? Should I do something else different? Go back to our my scripted voiceovers. Let me know and see you in the next video. Bye bye.